is either you serve your weakness or you serve your purpose. Um, also think of how we can brave up, you know, and make yeah. bold decisions, bold moves. Um, and, that's, and, uh, that's critical because as much as women might still feel that we, there's gender pay gaps and wage gaps and we're like in some, we have this mental block in some way that we are still the, the lesser sex or seen as the lesser sex by society. So you still have that inferiority or, or no, inferiority kind of is the wrong way to put it. That sense that the world sees you as inferior. So let's just make mm -hmm. that sort of opposite. Like women do still feel like they are glass ceilings everywhere, but women also need to understand right now that when it comes to power, when it comes to uh, who controls the messaging that we're getting out there, who controls the way the world work, women have actually taken over some of those key roles there. Because, you know, business has been on this aggressive growth trajectory for years and years and years and years. And yes, businesses go up and down, but at the end of the day, they end up making more money with less overheads. And that is the model. That is the model. We know that gender-based violence is an issue. We know that women are underrepresented. We know that women, um, you know, have there's this huge pay gap uh, in it. And there are some strategies to be used. And in this particular uh, budget, although the redistribution wasn't at a large scale, you did see some prioritization. And by the way, that is true also of periods generally. We're not going to win this um, um, removing the shame and the stigma if we still want to only talk about um, the pretty things or try to make menopause look what it is not. We need to be honest about Business it. These decisions become power struggle decisions, you know, because we, we're in the boardroom and then someone says something and then we get triggered and then there's an emotion and then we're like, oh, emotion's not safe here. Uh, this is not an emotional space, an emotionally safe space. So now I'm actually making a decision based on a, a wound that happened years ago that's got absolutely nothing to do with this conversation. But I think I'm making the right decision, and I'm, I'm going to hold that. My sister, I love your energy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for Listen, the shining and vibing. <laughs> if you're not changing, you're choosing. Anyway. I could sit, well, we know that we can talk for hours. But anyway, I think this is an amazing conversation, I have to tell you. Like, there's so many squirrels running around here at the moment. Yeah, you know, my friend... catch your own squirrel. Choose one, catch it. <laughs> okay, what topic are we going to talk about now? My you know, the, the final question I want to ask you is, what brave do we need to lead now in the times that we live in? making sure that we've got the voices around the table that we need doesn't matter how uncomfortable they might be in terms of the truth that they speak